Brad Garlinghouse has requested to cope with Chris Larson's donations and who he thinks might be higher for the USA for crypto. This is an exciting interview that simply befell. I need to play this, these clips. Also, I have a ton of XRP information. We're speaking about the CC. I'm going to speak approximately different matters. CBDC is an XRP. A lot of stuff in this video, so stick with me via everything. So if you have not been around the Twitter sphere within the previous few days, Chris Larson gave $10 million in XRP to aid Kamala Harris, and this created form of a backlash on Twitter, given that there may be loads of pro-Republican seasoned Trump human beings on Twitter. And so Brad Garlinghouse addresses Harris and Trump on this video. So I need to play this video due to the fact I suppose it is relevant to the elections are only a few weeks away here, like weeks away within the US. And a whole lot of human beings are very, you already know, both pro-Democrat or seasoned Republican, and we really need to figure out perhaps what facet is probably nice for crypto. In the beyond, Republicans have led in Congress and the Senate to do with you understand by way of congressional hearings, holding the SEC responsible and looking to put law together for the crypto industry. Democrats have due to the fact that come round, perhaps during the last six to 12 months, they had been very anti, most have been very anti crypto for a totally long time. I do assume this has now turned out to be a bipartisan difficulty. And Brad Garlinghouse has largely placed the check right here and asked, you understand what he thinks. And so let me play this. Your co-founder, Chris Larson, has given a number of money to the Harris marketing campaign. You had just advised us a bit, bit ago, which you are fiercely unbiased. And so whilst you think about the variations inside the applicants and the way they could technique crypto, what do you certainly know in particular because the Harris campaign has been a long way more interesting? Look, I think there is one component I sense very confident about, and this is that the Biden administration's technique to regulation of the crypto enterprise, that is coming to and cease for sure. And I suppose regardless of where in this performs out at the presidential degree, we will have a greater positive engagement with this enterprise. It's a vital enterprise. It's a modern generation. And I think the USA must be at the leading edge in Maine, as we did with the Internet of Information. I assume we're going to get there. As I stated the day before today at the Philadelphia Federal Reserve, I assume Gary Gensler's reign of terror at the crypto enterprise is going to come back to and quit very quickly. Brad, to your view, does it count if Kamala Harris is president come January 20th or Donald Trump is president come January 20th? What's higher for you? What's better for Ripple? Well, I've taken a completely impartial point of view. For the crypto industry, I suppose it is clean that the Republicans at a macro level had been extra proactive in saying this is an enterprise that desires clean regulation. You have visible Republican-led bill in the House passed with 71 or 72 Democrats crossing the aisle to support that in a completely bipartisan way. So I suppose we visible a extra Republican-centric. But I also think you've got visible symptoms that the Harris campaign desires to reset. Some of the very improper approaches that the Biden management has had with the crypto enterprise and other elements of era. So I, what I'm optimistic approximately is we are going to see a change. We're going to peer a reset. And I suppose we want that on the federal degree. The United States, there is, it is not me typing. Simplify. No query, the United States is at the back of other main international locations like the UK, like Switzerland, like Singapore, like Japan, that are manner ahead in imparting positive and clear law and rules of the road for this industry. So simply to be clean, you already know Harris or Trump have not put together any kind of, you know, they have form of Harris hasn't surely commented on crypto an excessive amount of. Trump of root gave the speech on the Nashville Bitcoin convention. He's going to fire Gary towards our day one. Okay, and then it is it. He said that you already know, he read a speech basically that his group put together that he is going to be, you recognize. Season Bitcoin and this and that I've heard in a few spaces that the human beings perhaps that surround Trump that will be positioned into a number of these offices might be seasoned crypto, but that we do not have any person way or every other. So just FYI. So this has also been floating around during the last few days around the Twitter space. The courtroom has now not acquired any acknowledgement and be aware, look, of the due date on October 18th. So the CC ignored the due date, went to document the attraction in opposition to Brad and in opposition to Chris Larson. I don't, this may have some, this may be thrown out because they neglected the filing date. And this is pursuant to 2D Circuit Rule 12.3, the Appeals Council acknowledgement and observe of appearance become due on October 18th, 2024. The courtroom has no longer received the acknowledgement and word of look on behalf because the Appeals Council. So perhaps the SEC just desired to save a rattle. There is now not a variety of time left proper on this current management. So despite the fact that they went via with this, ought to they see it via? Right? If Let's assume, let's consider Trump had been to win. And this is if Trump had been to win, you realize his management may is going to take over the SEC. And they might simply throw all of this out, right? So I don't know, I suppose that is kind of Gary Gensler's last days at the SEC, no matter who wins. And thank God, thank God it has been lousy. It has been awful for America. And we are not leading on this crypto race for the sector right now. We are, we are ways in the back of, I suppose the United States can capture up quickly. However, we need to get our shit collectively. Let's be honest right here. Verse and position this out. 
A new reserve forex system is already an area for over a decade. Ripple has been laying the groundwork with XRP position to update the dollar's reserve foreign money. Let me play this clip. Bricks pay, which has no definition to date, that is much like the MPay system that is already being carried out. However, the IMF and the Bank of International Settlements are involved in it. And Bricks desires to do Bricks Bridge based at the Enbridge. But it has to be absolutely out of doors of the framework of the Bank of International Settlements or the IMF, otherwise you will be reproducing a Western hegemony machine. Same thing with the reform of the new improvement bank in Shanghai. I'll attempt to be diplomatic, however, it's tough. Most experts know that the NDB is ineffective now because the statutes of the financial institution are based on the U.S. Greenback. How can you build a global and opportunity geoeconomic system based totally at the forex that you need to pass? So this brings us to the dialogue, a discussion that we had in Moscow this Beyond Week, a group of specialists. Parallel to BRICS, they were discussing the idea of a new reserve forex. But this has to begin from scratch. No, you have got a set of experts that, after which this has to visit BRICS experts, after which has to go to the chief. So, okay, how are we going to put into effect a brand new reserve currency from scratch? So that gives a concept to our target audience of the complexity of what's being mentioned for. Make no mistake, creating a new reserve foreign money, right? A foreign money that wasn't round, doesn't have nations presently using it for change, for oil, liquid, natural fuel, anything it is, proper food, you don't have that forex created right now. So what are these international locations? You have Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa, after which a group of nations that want to be a part of BRICS. What forex are they all going to accept as true with? Is this going to be a new virtual forex that is created or are the price at the back of the currency is a basket of their currencies? That's something that would maybe be created. Uh, or are they going to want to use some kind of virtual asset that has already been around for many years that has billions of greenbacks? Like that's wherein we are right now. And I suppose we are nevertheless quite far away, excuse me, quite some distance far away from what that is clearly going to look like. Now, he stated that they may be trying to copy the Enbridge machine. Now, visible, a lot of paperwork at the Enbridge system, and I'm going to do a video, especially on bricks and Enbridge. Let me recognize down the remarks in case you actually need to look that, because I'm putting it collectively proper now. I'm simply trying to position a few finishing touches on it. But the Enbridge system, you have got, you have China, Thailand, Hong Kong, you have some other locations that ripple. You can use XRP in those regions. And so that you start to surprise, you realize all of these nations, BRICS particularly, have tested XRP, and it's going to be interesting. I'll place that together and allow you to recognize. If you don't know what this seems like proper, let me show you this. Check this out. We were given QR codes, little wallets, really quick device, very brief system. Now, now with this, somebody included this Moscow 2024 digitization of payments, 